Come to Thailand, baby. Big fish. I'll never make fishing look easy, as you guys know. Oh. Little baby. Oh, in the space of five minutes. Oh. Oh. Doesn't look that much now, but it was been quite a lot. Oh. Five years of angling in Thailand boils down to this point here. Happiest moment of my life. Next up, Bangkok. Oh, made it TFT fishing. Oh. Two hour taxi. Tong. Right here. First view of the lake. Got to swim 15. Mike said nobody's been fishing that side for a couple of days. So hopefully some of the fish have moved over there. Uh, you can see the hyacinth, which is always a good feature. Yeah, buzzing. Can't wait to get involved. So it's my third fishing location after getting blown out for Colac, GT and Dorado. Yeah, it looks, looks great. Buzzing. With my first look across the lake, I was more than happy with the swim that I was given. So I decided to chop my whole dead base into small little chunks for my guys to feed over the top of my rig. I then hooked a mackerel head through the bottom of the chin out the top of the nose, giving it a firm hook hold to cast a rod. I then lined up my cast down to the far margin, down into a corner spot which I believed the predators would be hiding in wait. I cast my rod down there and my guys ready and waiting to spoon out the chops that I'd cut up earlier. Setting the rod down onto the rest and clipping on the alarm, it wasn't long before I was hooked into my first fish from the FT. And after a dogged fight, the Amazon Redtail pops to the surface, and my guy slips in the net, and he captures my prize. I re-rig a dead bait back onto the hook and cast it back down into the corner to try my luck again. And to my disbelief, I was away again. Am I recording? No. Take number two, space a couple of minutes. There was very little fight that this fish was giving me, which made me question what species it could be. Asian. When it first pops up, I thought it could be an Asian red tail. Ah, Vindu. But on closer inspection, I soon realized it was a Vindu catfish. Vindu. Originally native to Africa. Vindu. New species. My heart was in my mouth as I get the fish's head up and begin walking back for my guide to slip the net in under the fish. She was mine and my second species from exotic fishing Thailand. And my first ever Vindu catfish. With both species of fish in the back of the net, the guide and I got ourselves ready to enter the water. What we thought would be a nice brace shot. Checking my pockets to make sure I hadn't slipped in with my phone, like Tom had at Jurassic Mountain Resort. I then tried to persuade the Vindu for a photo. Not happy. <laughs> he was putting up a bigger fight than he was when he was on the end of my line. Like a bar of soap, it's nearly impossible to handle for a photo. <laughs> Here we go, new species for me. Vindu catfish. Me and my guy picking up two fish in the space of five minutes. Oh, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Oh. You got any of these? No. Blooded and breeze from my ordeal photographed in the Vindu. I managed to lift it up long enough for a photo. Good. 
and slipped her back for her to beat another angler up on another day. I repeat the process of casting my rod down into the margin and for my guide to put the bait over the top. <laughs> and to my shock, I was hooked into another fish. There we go. Pick up number three. Literally recast, put some fresh bait on it. Straight away into another fish. In a stark contrast from the Vundu catfish, this fish was giving me a lot better fight. Leading me all over my swim, forcing me to go up and under my lines more than once. And as the fish pops up to the surface, I recognise it as an old culprit, an Amazon red-tailed catfish. I could not believe my luck, catching three fish in quick succession to start the day. You can see my guide putting the oxygen line into the net to revive the fish for the photos. And another handsome Amazon red tail was the culprit. And after my impressive start to the morning, the action soon dried off in my margin spot. So I decided to cast at rolling fish Having seen a big alligator gar roll at the aerator further down the margin, I cast a rod straight down onto its head. I sat back, my rod and free spool, using the bottle as an indicator. Fish all over me now. And unfortunately, this came to no fruition. Time is quarter to six. An hour and 15 minutes left. I've got a dead bait down the near margin, half a live bait out in the middle, float rod out in the middle, and then another dead bait down the margin. Last hour and 15 minutes, three fish away, hoping for one last gasp per hour. Hoping for Ari, Mekong, or any sort of catfish. Fingers crossed. And as the sun set, my guide started to bait up the margin spot to get the silver barb going in at big balls of ground bait to attract the predators. He then cast a live bait over the top and as the sun set I was hooked into something that nearly dragged me completely off my feet. Is this going to be my big predator from exotic fish in Thailand? Good fish. Yeah, what's up? There's one child prior, last lockings. Little baby, the target fish ticked off. Woohoo! Marking the end of my trip to EFT. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. A big thank you to everybody that watched this episode of the Ultimate Fishing Trip in Thailand. For the next episode, you'll catch me down fishing in Karabi, sea fishing for sailfish with my friend Lee Farnsworth. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.